Praise the Lord everyone welcome back to Yeshu ke geet I am Shannon Milton and in this lesson we'll be learning the song called Yeshua It's a really really beautiful song I've been listening to this this past few weeks like really awesome song and we'll be learning that song on piano I'll be teaching you a chord pattern so that you can play the piano and sing with it all right so watch this video till the end to completely and fully understand this chord pattern you can also play with me like when i play you can play along with me that would be really good all right so just just be with me till the end of this video and if you are new to our channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you receive all our upcoming notifications and updates and also just one more thing that we also have launched our piano course it's the complete piano masterclass course so if you are interested then you can go ahead and purchase it link in the description all right so without wasting any further time let's move on so this song uses four chords the first chord is c major that is c e g the second chord is d major that is d f sharp a the third chord is e minor that's e g b and the fourth chord is b minor that's b d f sharp all right now you can play the chords like this it's good but we're going to go ahead and learn the chord pattern all right so i'm just going to play this first so that you get an idea chord pattern i'm also using a sustain pedal all right because if we do not use a sustain pedal with this chord pattern it's going to sound like this and we don't want it to sound like this right so we are using sustain pedal so just keep that in mind if you have a sustain pedal great if you don't have go purchase one okay so let's move on what is this chord pattern so on the right hand we are just playing simple chords like total full chords no breaking up nothing no arpeggio just simple chords and we're not playing here see this is my middle c we're not playing the c major chord here instead we are playing on the next octave okay the higher one this one okay so we're playing all the chords over here on the right hand like simple now everything is happening on the left hand see What is happening over here is this is my middle C and just before this C C this one this C okay we are starting from this C this is my middle C not this C but this one so we are playing the C major chord first that's our first chord right C major so we are playing C E G C E G then we are moving on to our next octave C E G okay so c e g c e g and then next c then back to g okay so this is the chord pattern c e g c e g c g okay now see my finger numbers this is like 1 2 3 4 5 okay fifth finger on the first note third finger on the second note second finger on the third note then first finger on the fourth note that is a c okay so 5 3 2 1 then third finger on e so 3 then second finger on g then first finger on c and then second finger back on g okay if you understand this you can very easily play the rest of the chords 5 3 2 1 3 1 2 okay you can play with me 5 3 2 1 3 2 1 2 5 3 2 1 3 2 1 2 1 2 1 okay now how to play this leg with both hands together so when you start with your c this left c you have to play this chord as well on the right hand And 
now see this we have to play this C as well right so leave your right hand chord so that you can play the left hand C note okay see this one more time and since we are using sustain pedal so you can actually leave your chord okay you don't have to like keep holding it because it's already sustaining So this is the pattern and then when you go over to your for example D then E minor then B minor exactly same fingers are being used okay the same fingers that we used for C major so more better idea when we start practicing this pattern with the song so we'll start with the chorus part first and see yeshu so you don't have to play on ye you have to play on shu okay and that is your c as you can see on the screen so yeshu on shu you have to start with your pattern like yeshu like this okay yeshu So see this. One more time. First we play the entire C pattern, then one more time. Till here only, okay? And then we have to move on to our next chord. So the first time when you play the C as you can see on the screen, you play the entire pattern. The second time when you play, you don't play the entire pattern. See this. till where till g only that's it okay yeshu a and now you have to change to d okay and on d you just have to play this only only the two notes of d that is d and f sharp okay and then we move on to e minor so the d chord is actually acting as a passing chord okay you don't have to play the entire chord pattern so ye shu okay now you come on e minor a minor uh, that is it this is the pattern one more time you can play with me yeshu beginner this might be hard this might be or this will be hard okay if you are a beginner so you have to practice a lot a lot you have to practice because it's more of like an arpeggio and this needs a lot of practice okay but if you have been playing piano and if your fingers are already independent great if your fingers are not independent then you can check out that video yeah that that video in that video i have given you a few exercises as how you can make your fingers independent okay but if they are independent great so that was our chorus part okay and now we'll move on to the verse part the verse part which goes like my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands okay so this starts with e minor and e minor chord is falling on which word beloved 
beloved okay so you start like my be la on la you have to give e minor chord okay my be love it is the most and see i just gave the chord just one time okay same chord pattern my be love it is the most now c major one beautiful beautiful among thou on thou you have to come to g major thou sits and thou now d major thou sits my be e minor love it is the most c major beautiful major thousands and tau d major thousands practice is very very slowly and just follow where the chords are falling on which word that's it and you just have to play the pattern that's that's all okay and this repeat several times my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands it's like four times okay it's four times so repeat it over and over again so i'm just going to play this one more time and you can play with me my be love it is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my be love it is the most beautiful two more times okay and now we'll move on to the bridge part of the song so the bridge part goes like our god reigns so our god reigns so our god no chord on reigns there is a chord the chord is c major okay our god reigns on reigns play c major our god reigns Our God. See, I played the entire C major pattern two times. Okay, until my E minor chord comes. Okay, so keep that in mind. In bridge part, you have to play the C major chord pattern two times. Our God reigns. Our God. E minor. Reigns forever, your kingdom. Now G major on reigns, your kingdom reigns. One more time. Our God, C major. So each chord pattern two, two, two times. Okay. Our God reigns. Our God reigns forever. Your kingdom reigns. And then you keep repeating it over and over again. Okay, and this is your bridge part of the song. I hope this lesson was helpful for all of you and if it was helpful then please don't forget to hit the like button share it with your friends comment down below if you liked it or if you want to learn more songs like this comment down below so that we'll know and if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon just beside it so that you receive all our upcoming notifications and updates and if you're on instagram which i think you might be so then you can also follow us on instagram it's called at the rate yeshu ke geet there you'll receive lots of christian devotional videos like amazing videos that you're gonna love so please do follow us over there as well and we'll meet in the next video god bless you all